Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch with me, Gustav Miller, as your host. Here in South Africa, we're experiencing quite a warm summer. Temperatures outside soaring above, above 30 degrees Celsius. So we are enjoying quite a pleasant, warm summer. Fortunately, inside here, it's quite cool and reasonable. And I have got a very exciting whiskey for today. Um, for this video, it is the Glenfiddich 19 year old age of discovery Madeira cask finish. I am going to review all three of these age of discovery Glenfiddichs. This is the Madeira cask finish, and the bourbon and the red wine cask finish. And I must say. I do have quite an appreciation and a respect for Glenfiddich, and I'll tell you why. Um, founded way back in 1886 by William Grant, situated of course in the Speyside region in the Northern Highland of Scotland and owned by William Grant and Sons, this distillery is one of the very few private family owned distilleries out there, uh, which is quite an achievement. And for quite a number of years from the 1960s up till two, three years ago, they were the biggest producer and seller of single malt in the world. Now, of course, overtook by or passed uh, by Glenlivet, who is now the biggest producer and seller of single malt whiskies in the, in the world. Glenfiddich, also the first distillery in um, 1969 to open a visiting center. And they do make quite reasonable whiskies. So I, I must say I'm excited to review these three whiskies and I hope that you will enjoy it with me. This particular whiskey, the 19-year-old Age of Discovery Madeira cask finish, launched in honor of the Portuguese explorers of the 15th century. And also interesting, this is the only 19-year-old Glenfiddich whiskies available, uh, bottled by the distillery, of course, would be these three. Limited release, so they're getting quite scarce. It is uh, quite rare to still find them and quite expensive for 19-year-old whiskies originally for the travel retail market which makes them even more scarcer this one finished in madeira fortified sweet wine casks sourced from a family owned madeira wine company founded in 1850 in portugal that is where the casks came from within which these this whiskey was finished now here's an interesting part. This one that I've got here is the South African version bottled at 43% alcohol by volume. Whereas the other two that I have here is the European versions bottled at 40%. I don't know if it'll be visible on the camera, but way down there you can see 43% and the other two 40%. And I must say, I wish that I did have the South African versions for all three of them because I do prefer the slightly higher alcohol by volume 43 percent beautiful gift box one of the prettiest ones that I've seen and it opens up with uh, several flaps like this and then the bottle sits inside there and uh, some really magnificent graphics depicting the age of discovery portuguese explorers and at the back quite a bit of information here the nose what we can expect on the nose is a deep aroma of sweet ripe figs and orange marmalade from a backdrop to bright notes of fresh gooseberries and grapes ripening on the vine on the palate rich and spicy cinnamon crushed black pepper rest on a base of deep earthy notes, caramelized fruits, crystallized ginger, raisins, and hints of dry oak. Texture is satisfying, silky smooth, and almost oily. Finish. 
pleasingly dry with a warmth that fades into lingering sweet marmalade finish. Let's see if I agree with what they say we can expect on this whiskey. The color antique gold. If I use my color chart here, I would say a almost a burnished gold color. Almost a burnished gold color over there. So quite a darkish color that we've got on this whiskey. Mmm. I must agree with the orange marmalade and that fruitiness. Um, gooseberries and the figs and the ripe grapes. Quite fruity on the nose. But I'm also getting some pineapple. Chocolate, vanilla. Beautiful nose. Mm, and it gets better and better as you nose this whiskey with this burnished gold color. Wonderfully fruity. I'm not getting any alcohol burn at 43%. Mm. It is like an invitation to just sip this whiskey. Mm. Cinnamon and pepper is what gets you first. The ginger, the crystallized ginger with a little bit of raisins, caramelized fruits, quite smooth, but actually quite spicy, much more spicy than the nose suggested. The invitation by the nose to sip this whiskey and then what you experience on the palate is not the same. There's this rich fruity nose and then the spicy palate experience with a little bit of chocolate, vanilla, Mmm. Mmm, very interesting. Mmm. The finish is quite dry. I, I, I agree with the information. But it's not that long. And there's a hint of, of chocolate on the finish with a bitter marmalade and... The spiciness remain. It's the spiciness that sort of linger with just a hint of sweetness. And I did let it stand for a while. I have discovered this, especially for a 19-year-old. You have to let it stand for a bit. So I poured it before I started the video to give it an opportunity to, you know, to sort of relax and open up. Mm. Let's see what a drop of water will do. 43% alcohol by volume. So just one or two drops right there. The nose just gets better and better. This is a nosing whiskey. Pleasant, fruity. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, it's, a less, it's less spicy, it allows that fruitiness to come forward and it gives you a little bit more of a balance between the fruity and the spicy. So a drop of water, literally a, dro a drop or two, is the answer. If I have to summarize what I experienced with this whiskey, I would say fruit and ginger with a hint of chocolate. Fruity but mainly spicy ginger with a hint of chocolate. That is it. And this is a nosing whiskey. That, that's my conclusion. Quite expensive if you can get hold of it. From 110 to 170 US dollars. In the UK around 110 pound. Here in South Africa 2,500 rand. Easy if you can still get hold of it. Food pairing recommendations. I have got a crystallized ginger. I came across this at the local shop. 
some chewy ginger cubes in a chocolate covered in chocolate so some crystallized chewy ginger covered with a chocolate and I'm going to try this to connect with that spicy gingery chocolate notes in this whiskey you can also try a ginger truffle or cinnamon dusted fruit if you want to connect with the cinnamon side of the spiciness like an apple or a pear slice dusted with cinnamon but let's see what the ginger chocolate will do in terms of pairing with this whiskey mm. spicy Mm. This is going to be interesting. Mm. Oh boy, this is fantastic. It simply connects. Nothing more to say. This is wonderful. I'm going to finish this sip after I've completed this video. Fantastic. What an experience. Thank you for watching. An invitation from my side to share this video with your friends. And I will see you again soon for the next Age of Discovery review, Slancha.